everybody, welcome to the Rico channel. I am Luis Soto, one of the technicians here at Rico DTG, and today we're going to go over a question that we typically get asked by customers, which is, what is the best fit for me? Is it DTG or DTF? As we all know, DTG means direct to garment, and DTF means direct to film. So in this video, we're going to go over what is going to best work for your business and what you're doing and how you want to progress your business. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the materials here. And we're also going to take some of the processes. First, we're going to start with direct to garments. So direct to garment, as it implies, it prints directly on the garments, letting the ink seep into the fibers of the material. Now, if I get this right here, and if I put it towards the light, you'll see how it's kind of transparent. Now, let's take a look at direct to film or DTF. So DTF, instead of printing directly on the garments, you're going to print on a sheet, and then you're going to apply glue powder, and then put that onto the garments. So if I go ahead and place the garments against the background, you can see how it's more solid. You don't get as much transparency on it. Now, how is that gonna feel? So it's gonna feel more of a sticker, more cardboardish than it would be on DTG. DTG is softer material. It feels better because it actually seeps into the, gar into the garment or the material instead of sitting right on top like a sticker. All right, guys, so let's take some pros at DTG. As mentioned before, it really makes the image and the garment feel nice and soft. It also reads better, especially in the humid environments. You also get a really nice layout of colors with good definition. We'll take a look at DTF a little closer, and then you'll see some of these finishes are not quite there on DTF, but they are there on DTG. Now, another good thing about DTG is that you can actually remove some of the backgrounds, like the black here, which is going to make the material feel a lot softer and it's going to breathe better. All right, guys, so now that we touch base on the DTG, let's go ahead and take a quick look at DTF and what makes it different from DTG. As we all know, or you might not know, with DTF, you got to print on film. So you got to get one of these sheets here. You're going to print on it. You're going to apply glue powder, and you got to make sure you cure that powder before you actually bond it to any material or any surfaces like the shirt here. As well as powder, you're going to have to cure that powder onto the sheets here so it doesn't take a little bit more space in your area. Some of those machines also run on 220, so you might have to consider that as well. Some of those powder shakers also need a fume extractor. Most of them have them built in, but just keep in mind that that's another piece of equipment that you might need to get. So taking a quick look at our print here, or our DTF, as you can see, it's still a really nice graphic, but it does feel rough. You can show when I scratch it, but it's gonna be a little cardboardish to the feel. And if you have this in a place where it's humid, you are gonna get a little bit of sweat, sweat stains there, because you know, you're not letting the material breathe, which is gonna create a little bit of sweat. But, you know, taking all that into consideration, guys, if you are doing like huge jobs where you're gonna print the same graphic time after time for let's say 30 or 40, or you wanna take it to the marketplace and sell a lot of films, DTF is definitely an area where you guys wanna look at. Now, if you're looking more into customizing individual pieces or small amounts, let's say 10 shirts, one shirt, maybe one us, DTG is gonna be where you guys wanna be at. I guess going a little more depth into DTG, as we all know, most of the units out there, you gotta pre-treat before you actually print on them. And for most units, it is really hard to print on mixed blends like polyester or cotton mixes. Now, this is where our i4000 has innovated the market. There's two things that make this machine a lot different than any other machine out there. One of them being that you can actually print on polyester and mixed materials like 50-50s, 60-40s. Another big pro about the i4000 Unlike conventional DTG machines, you don't need to buy a pre-treat machine. So our RI4000 has a built-in enhancer or pre-treatment option. Now, how does that apply to you and your business? So by having it on board, you don't have to buy extra equipment. You reduce foot footage in your workshop, so you have more space to buy other material or other equipment. Also, this is printed digitally. What that means, it's only going to apply the enhancer in the areas where it's going to apply ink. Unlike traditional DTG printing, where you got to pre-treat it by hand, or use a pre-treat machine, then you'll get a big square of the pre-treatments. This is not gonna have that because you are printing digitally only where it's gonna apply ink. All right guys, so now that we took a look at both DTF and DTG, it is gonna depend a lot on how you wanna promote yourself, what you're gonna be doing. If you got a small storefront, if you're gonna be doing customizing, definitely a DTG unit would work for you. If you are gonna do more of a mass production or maybe even sell, try to sell films, DTF is gonna work for you as well. Another thing you guys want to keep a look out for is, you know, how much footage you have in your area. Now, when you do DTG, you only need a piece of equipment. So you're going to need a DTG unit and you're going to need a key press. For DTF, you're going to need 
the unit itself for DTA, you're gonna need a shaker, and you're also gonna need a heat press. So, a couple of more th items you need with DTF. Now, the RA4000 kind of gives you the best of both worlds. So this machine can actually do DTG and it can also do DTF. Now DTF, we are limited to doing sheets. It is gonna have a little bit of limitation on the colors that you're gonna be using and you do a little bit of troubleshooting to see what sheet works best for you, as well as the DTF machines. You do need to get a roll of material. You gotta test a couple of rolls to see what roll best works for you and what you're doing. Now, keeping that in mind, when you obtain your feed the machine for DTF, you are gonna waste a couple of feet of rolls, so just keep that in mind as well, guys. So now that we talked about both DTG and DTF, if you guys have any questions or wanna learn about more about the RF4000 or any of the other Rico products, please give us a call or email us at ricodtg.com. Our technicians are always here and happy to help.